Welcome back to our little handmade home where today we are going to be making a delicious crock pot soup. Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are making an awesomely simple slow cooker soup. It's chicken taco soup and it is one of my favorites for so many reasons. It's delicious, but also it is truly a set it and forget it until it's time to put it on the table and what can be better than that? Not a lot of ingredients, even though there are a few things on the counter here. I'm just gonna walk you through how I do this, what I put in it, and you'll see how quick and easy this actually is. The recipe calls for using four chicken breasts. You can use fresh or frozen. Now, I had a family pack that we picked up last time we went to Costco, so I'm throwing them all in here. And that's okay. You can have a little bit of extra meat if you want. And there's nothing wrong with that. It just makes it go a little bit further. The most important thing that you need to remember when you are making a soup like this is to make sure that you're using enough liquid to cover the chicken. The chicken has to be fully submerged for the entire time that it cooks. So first thing we put in is chicken broth. We buy this in bulk at Costco. It's the Kirkland Organic Chicken Broth. And we just use two cups of this. You can use any kind of broth you want actually, but we always buy chicken because I like the flavor of it. it. Just adds a little extra. So we're gonna use two cups and we just pour it over top of the chicken which it's already half submerged. And then the next step is to add our canned stuff. So we've got a can of diced tomatoes. This is the 796 mils if you're here in Canada, 28 ounces elsewhere. So we're just gonna pop these open. And when I say set it and forget it, it truly is that quick and easy. This is the type of recipe that you can get ready in the morning before you head out to work. Or what I often do is I'll pop out on my lunch break and I will throw it into the slow cook right about noon so that we can eat around 5.30, which is perfect timing. That's a large can of diced tomatoes. Just dump that in. We use one can of black beans. These are just the Western family. You can use any brand you want, cheap as you want. 540 mils, so fairly large can, but not gigantic. You can substitute the beans too if you want. You could use um, kidney beans, would be okay. I'm not sure if I would try too many others, to be honest. I really like the black beans. I think it tastes pretty good that way. And of course, the, the black beans are a little stickier. So we'll just empty all of that in there. Next, we have a can of tomato sauce. This is again from Costco. It's just an organic tomato sauce, but you can use any brand you want. You could actually even substitute tomato soup if you wanted. You want to just thin it out a little bit. It's, it's just the tomato sauce that you're looking for. I'm getting a good workout too with this can opener. Because of course, if you've checked out my post on how to minimize your kitchen, you know that we don't use an electric can opener for anything. So pour that in. We've got one cup of frozen corn. You can use canned corn if that's what you have on hand. You could even um, slice it off of a cob if that's what you have. So I just pulled that out of the freezer ahead of time. We've got a can of salsa. Now we're using mild salsa. I personally will go for medium, but I've got to tell you, my husband's a little bit of a wimp when it comes to that. So we throw that in there and then we add our spices. So this is actually my homemade um, taco seasoning, which I will put a link for in the comments below. So we're going to 
going to use a tablespoon of this. You know, a generous tablespoon if, if you like the extra spice. And we've got minced garlic, minced onion, and celery salt. Now the celery salt just gives it a little extra zip, really. So we're going to do a tablespoon of the minced onion. Or so. Kind of. This is all really to taste, but the recipe says a tablespoon. And then we're going to go a teaspoon of the minced garlic. Any more than that, you're probably going to get a little more garlic taste than you want. And we're going to do a teaspoon of the celery salt. Sprinkle that in. And then all we have left to do at this point is stir it all in. You want to make sure that your chicken is well covered, which it certainly is with this amount of liquid. I never drain any of my beans or anything like that because it just adds to the liquid. Now, I cook this on low for five hours. If you're using frozen chicken breast, you might, you could check it after five hours, it'll probably be fine, um, but you wanna make sure, absolutely make sure that it's cooked all the way through because after it's ready, we're gonna shred it. The coffee's just an extra. So, all we do, plug this in, we're going to turn it on low, and we're going to let it go for five hours. So I'll see you back then, and we'll get the rest of it ready. Okay, so at this point, our soup has been in the slow cooker for about five hours. So now it's time to prepare the actual chicken. So you can see the steam coming out of here. It's really blended nicely, looks great. So all I do for this step is using two forks, fish out one chicken breast at a time and just shred it. You can tell right away if your chicken is cooked through because it's gonna shred really nicely and just shred it down into small pieces. I do one at a time, and then I toss it back in for a few more minutes. Especially if you have bread in your bread maker, which I have going in the background. Um, it gives you time to um, grate some cheese if you wanna to top off your soup with some cheese, maybe some crackers. We like to use tortilla chips in ours. So by shredding it and then putting the meat back into the soup, it really lets the smaller pieces soak up a lot more flavor. So just keep shredding until you have all the chicken breasts pulled apart. And then your dinner is ready to serve.